So this is brand new wine, special <clears throat> edition, still not, still not in, in, in the market. No. But it's going to be one day. It's unbelievable, yes. Granats, uh, we Granuts. planted that six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. We and did. now you have how many of uh, those vines? We had a, a thousand vines that we planted uh -huh. of Granats. And after the third year, we got one and a half tons. Wow. So that <laughs> just gave us enough for 60 cases. This will never go to the market. <laughs> This will be sold to... I know, I know. I, I see people are tasty, tasting oh, and they say, wow, where can we buy it? But Exactly. Right now, Opolo. <laughs> Opolo. Only on Opolo. If you come here to do tasting yes. or if you go to festival. And you have uh, the secret password. Oh, secret. <laughs> because nobody knows. But there it's you go. It's still not on the flyer. Yeah. Uh, this is your uh, festival. How many years are doing this and I think how is everything going? Up? every year or down or business has been up but i think business nationally is yeah. down maybe 30 percent oh really wow. and so yeah. we're very fortunate to be even uh our wine club is growing so that is our best source of revenue uh, mm -hmm. this year was a beautiful year for grapes we had two months of rain three or four times the wow, rain we normally great. have almost two meters of rain wow so um but anyway, you have your, your water here in, on the... Yes, it's but... It's not enough, huh? Yeah, the water here has salt in it, you know, oh. and what happens when you use that, uh, it makes the dirt, the soil, so it cannot absorb. Oh. And so by having so much rainfall, it washes the salts out, and therefore fertilizer, anything you give it for the next few years will be good. Yeah. So they were really happy vines, but this was a cold summer. California never has a cold summer. <laughs> so this year it was cold and we were worried about getting enough sugar to be able to make great wine. Really? Yes. Our harvest, uh, you know, from the last five years mm -hmm. at the harvest party, there's no grapes. They're already done. This year we'll be picking until November. Oh, because you need more sun. More sun. More sun, yes. so you don't need to add sugar. Then it's not gonna be right in America. Of wine. There's gonna yes. be some another wine. <laughs> some another wineries who are using sugar. Yes. And they may, but oh. they don't know that uh, wine can be made for grape also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the United States, it's actually it's illegal. It's against the law illegal. to add sugar. So no. We can add acid. Mm -hmm. In Europe, you can add sugar, but you can't add acid by law. So they're just 180 degrees difference. Yeah. So uh, yesterday and today we have the biggest party, uh, which is gonna put together the whole Balkan people from Chicago, Florida, California, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> and you are very busy just to say hi to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Sometimes yeah. I don't get to see everybody, but it, know, it's, it's, it's good to see all these people, ex-Yugoslavia, together, having good time, mm -hmm. and then being able to share the food, the music, and uh, the yeah. drustvo. Yeah. 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 And last night I met a lot of Americans who came from Serbia. This, for actually from Adriatic tour, what we are organizing so so many years. Yes. There were, we had 35 people on that tour, and uh, I think there was 21 last night together, and they became really good friends yeah. from going on that tour and being together for two weeks. In fact, they have a party tonight uh, at Tascadero, one town away from here, to get together again. Really? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So when did you decide to start doing those tours, and what's the main reason? The reason for me was basically when we had our civil war, um, the news channels here in America were unfairly painting the Balkans as yeah. bad people, bad especially people. bad news about Serbia, Montenegro. And so I just wanted to show people real Serbia, real Montenegro, and take them there. And we started that in 2010, was the first year. And other than COVID, we go every year. So it's been a very good success. Yeah. People have their eyes open and they understand the world is different. 
than when you look at CNN or NBC, you know. They came with some kind of knowledge, what is really. A lot of them looked it up. They looked up where they were going. Um, Croatia is very popular. Croatia has done a wonderful job with tourism and they have the Adriatic Coast mm -hmm. and it's in almost every TV show advertising for tours. So that was really good. And Serbia, because of uh, American politics, was yeah. painted poorly. So when they go there, they're so, oh wow, oh. <laughs> this is nice. And then, they, and then they talk about the hospitality of the people and say, well, that's the best hospitality. You know, this is a beautiful Adriatic uh, coast, yeah, yeah. coast and that's beautiful. But the food, the people, the, all that stuff, the service was much, much better in Montenegro, also in Serbia. Yes, yeah, it, it was good in Croatia, but it not. It's more like, like, it like in the West. Yeah, more like in America. Yeah, yeah. And we went to Slovenia. We went to a Michelin uh, star restaurant, oh. and, and the chef was wonderful. His name was Yuri Tomic, and uh, Debula was his uh, name of the restaurant. And we stopped there and. First of all, the tourists to be able to go to a Michelin restaurant was very, you know, wow. Wow, yeah, yeah. Know. because here waiting time is like six, seven months. Yes, or and so they more. had a <laughs> wonderful meal and with wonderful wines. And one of my dear friends from uh, Fruška Gora up in Irik, Mire Kovacevic, our last night up in that area of Novi Sad, he did an eight course meal and they were they couldn't believe the food and the wine in the hospitality service and then just last week uh mire had hired you they're good friends to come to frushka Gora to his winery and they did a winemaker dinner at kolacevic you know podrum there and it was super people were so crazy about it and it's a small world. When we went to Slovenia and as we were leaving, just five miles from the border, we stopped at this restaurant. We had reservations. And I went inside and I saw this big bottle of Kovacevic. <laughs> and this guy says, I'm the chef. I said, he said, do you know that wine? I says, I stayed one week at his house just last week. <laughs> he didn't believe me. So he got on his phone, he had his number and speed dial and he pushed it. And he got Mire on the phone. He said, Mire, he says, I got this guy who says he knows you. And he turned the f to me. <laughs> Mire says, Rick, how are you doing? <laughs> but uh, it's unbelievable how many people from Mexico, Slavia know you. Yeah. Because you, you, you know everybody, you know everybody. You're, you're like the, the biggest ambassador from the Balkan countries in I America and even here. In, in, People we, are coming from uh, Milwaukee, Chicago, just to be here for two-day festival. We have people in Texas, yeah. Florida, and no, it's fun. You know, <laughs> there's not many of us, but... Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> we, we do well together. That, that's yes. very nice, that's very nice. So what can, what can people expect tonight to see on the festival? Uh, we have tamburitsa music, we've got uh, barbecued lamb, yanyatine, we've got prebranats, we've got sarma. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did we make? Uh, oris, uh, uh, pirinac, yeah, yeah, pirinac, yeah, pirinac, uh, pirinac. Uh, torta, vishna, mm -hmm. uh, sour cherries, and it's all made here. And we have all kinds of kobasica uh, that we make. You know, this is my cello. This is Nasha yeah. cello. Yeah. You used to do very successful business with real estate, and, and you live in Los Angeles, but now you decided to move here. Yes. In village area, there is nothing, only wineries around and uh, nature. <laughs> no, no more crowd uh, traffic no. and... Uh, no, Yeah, we moved, uh, I moved from Minnesota, mm -hmm. big uh, Balkan community, the steel plant. In uh, 1979, I was 29 years old. Mm -hmm. And I moved to California, my uncle Uyak Petar, said, come on out to California. He says, it's a very good opportunity for you. And it was, and I got into real estate and uh, built a very good company with very good people. Mm -hmm. And that was what bought all this stuff a long time ago. But it's in a city that's about 150,000 people and the market area is about half a million people. It's pretty wow. busy, but we started, I bought this piece of property we're sitting at in 1995. 
and uh, it was nothing, it was Shuma. Yeah, yeah, but at that time, did people uh, realize that one day that's going to work fortune? I don't know that they, they knew that. I don't yeah. think so, you know, and I just wanted to grow just a little bit of grapes. I could have bought one acre, half a hectare, yeah, yeah. and been yeah, fine, yeah. but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we bought this 70 acres, and then we bought more. And uh, so my wife and I, two weeks ago, the moving truck picked up, they came to our house, picked up what we have, and we have another vino god we're putting in next door i don't know if i showed that to you I'll no no we can maybe walk later yeah I, I can take you to that mm -hmm. but uh so we're here it's the cello there's no reason to leave i don't watch tv so i don't know what the news is <laughs> so it's just it's fun people come here to have a good time they're happy they have good wine some good rakia mm -hmm. they leave happier you know and it's Good, you know, Jivotia Kratak. Jivotia Kratak. Can we go a little bit around just to walk to, to show people what you have here in the tasting room? Sure. Okay, let's go. So this is our distillery. What's that? Oh, you're on film. You're going to be in a movie. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah. So hey, this is Kevin. Kevin is our head distiller. Okay. This is his baby. He basically invents everything that we make here. We taught him how to make. We taught him how to make rakia. So he knows how to make kaisia, sliva, uh, loza, all those things. Those are stills that we bought from Germany and also from Tennessee, but. Kevin is very inventive. He's like a master craftsman. So, <laughs> what kind of uh, rakia do you make here? What, what do you have? Okay. So, Imam, oh, oh, Vilimovka, can you get one of the bottles with the pears? Yes. Just to see. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And all those pears are from your property here? The pears are all here, grown on the property. And uh, we make Vishnya, Kaisia. Uh, the pears, Vilyumovka, we used to make uh, Orak, the nutty behavior. That's Orakovacha. And we have Loza, the uh, Grappa. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Loza as well. Yeah. And we do bourbon and brandy. Shliba, chamomile. So it's fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Cheers. Nice. Jibali, cheers. 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 Salud. 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 Mm. This is very nice. Oscar, you in here for you? So tasting room is open every day? Seven days a week. It is. Now Seven days a all. week. So people can taste all those rakias. They can take it home. Absolutely. <laughs> That's <laughs> I hope the most so. important. And now we have a wine room here. What's your favorite wine? Uh, and do you have something new? Uh, we have wine? the Nuvranets that I talked yeah, about. Yeah, I know, I know, but that's still not for sale. Uh, Primitivo. Actually. Primitivo. How's it going? Good. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you. Awesome place. Where's the boss? Well, upstairs, <laughs> getting, getting some food. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Camera on another. <laughs> fuel, it. fuel on another. <laughs> I'm a photographer, so I like that. <laughs> what kind of glass is that? Is it for a dessert wine? <laughs> <laughs> That's something more. Yeah. Turbo. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube. Yeah, I'll be on YouTube. With about a million followers. <laughs> oh, perfect. How's it going? Good, 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 good. Tina, say hi. What do you like Dragon? to taste here? What's your favorite wine? So far, the... I'm gonna jack this up. 
the seven, seven, San Gervese. San Gervese. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Are you Super. promoting the the brand? Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. 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 So. Always. Thanks, Tina. <laughs> I have to change my hands. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome back. Thank you. I was like, I was you were here two years ago and you're late in the afternoon. Yeah, with your friend, he was, um, he was here on his visa. Zoran. How, is he still here? He's back there now. We're still struggling with our government. God forbid they let somebody in who doesn't have a criminal past. <laughs> Right. Yeah, so. Are you ready? Like, are you ready for this harvest thing? I was like, I feel so bad. I didn't know what was happening today. Oh, we had 700 people for dinner last night. I heard. And 700 tonight, so yeah. I didn't know it was Friday and Saturday. I didn't know it was I was like, I wanted to know. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So oh, enjoy what we have today. It is this nice time. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's excellent. Welcome to Opal. Nice to see you. Super, yeah. super. They're super. gonna they're gonna crash the party tonight. Cool. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if you see me, you say nothing. <laughs> Say hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jeff. How you doing, my friend? This Good is, to see you. This is my top wine club yes. salesperson. Yes, if here we go. Join, if you don't join, I'm going to fire him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no pressure. pressure. No pressure or anything. <laughs> no pressure. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Good to see you. Thank thanks you. for coming. We love this place. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> I've been here forever, right? Yeah, I think 1995. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're out of I came in 2000. <laughs> to Paso Robles? To this very winery. We just moved here two weeks ago from Southern California. Oh, you? So, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, what city winery. were you in? Santa Rosa Valley. It's right by Camarillo, Westlake Village, yeah. Thousand Oaks. Oh, yeah. okay. We're, we're, yeah. We're, we're south. We're in San Clemente. Okay. <laughs> you didn't happen to work at Amgen, did you? Just... Amgen? Yeah. No, but it's there in Newberry Park. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I take one of their products called Rapatha. <laughs> Good for you. I think it's like 900 bucks a month. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good to see you guys. For dinner? How's it going today? You having fun? Yes, we are. Are you? Did you guys chase somebody away or what? No, no Donna's we, in the chair. Oh, okay. You got, you got a great team here. It's great. Thank are you very you? much. They really are. Great. We're just having fun going around and seeing oh, how everybody's no. doing. So well, who are you? Harvest. Where are you from? We're from Los Angeles. What part? Orange County, Santa, Santa Monica. Barbara. Oh. Santa Monica. Santa Barbara is not. Yeah, no. Orange County, Orange County, Santa Monica. You, you drove through there, okay. Yes. <laughs> and I'm we're sister, brother, father. Ah, cool. Yeah. And where's dad live? He's in Porter Ranch in um, San Fernando Valley. Yeah, up by Granada Hills. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we grew up there. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. I moved from Minnesota and I lived in uh, Santa Rosa Valley. It's Camarillo. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, yes. right there. Yeah. Until two weeks ago. Oh, until two weeks ago. And now you moved here. I moved on the property, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Very so nice. I've been coming here since 1995. Well, congrats. So thank you. Thanks well, for coming up. Thank you. And have a happy harvest party tonight. Yeah, 700 of my closest friends. Well, my yes, exactly. My niece and my sister-in-law will be there. So okay. yes, enjoy. Get a report. Yes. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, how are you? Good, good. Going okay? You got Donna working with you? Yes. Super. She's wonderful, isn't she? Yeah, she's great. Yeah, super. First time to Opelo or been? Yes, first time. Oh, cool. Where are you from? Los Angeles. What part? Huntington Park. Down by Huntington Beach? No. Huntington Park, so where? Down Southeast LA. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I lived there till two weeks ago in down in Ventura County. Oh, okay. Yeah. I escaped up here. Oh, you escaped. <laughs> but before before then, I escaped from Minnesota. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, nice. uh, 1979, before you guys were born. <laughs> Super. <laughs> thanks, for, wow. thanks for coming. Thank you. Dobro? Yeah, yeah. Everything's perfect. Hi, guys. How's it going? Good. Good. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Okay. Show them what you can do with your stick. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> what?
So this is our tasting room. Used to my track used to be the tractor barn. So Dragomir, welcome back. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Good to see you. When did you get in? Uh, yesterday. We were at the dinner yesterday. But I went to look for you and I didn't uh, after the party, you know, you guys did everything. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see I you. How are you? But then again, we were drinking. So. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> how you doing? Super, super. Say hi to Draga. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you guys? Oh, great, great. So this is our main tasting room. And uh, we remodeled it about five years ago. Uh, used to be a tractor barn. All of my tractors lived inside here. But you can see we've got different events that we have up on the television screens. Some are from blending parties, crab feeds, uh, harvest feasts, also our trip to the Adriatic. So it's where we do our main sales. Yeah. Did you start uh, booking up for the next year? Yes, already. In the last five, we put it on the internet two days ago and we only have six people paid. <laughs> so yes, that'll be sold out. That would be nice, yeah. yeah. So. So can you show me those lines over there? So these are some of the whites and the rosés that we make. Viognier, Rillo Blanc, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, the standard whites. And if you're really thirsty, we have a large bottle of Rhapsody that has 18 bottles inside one bottle. So uh, different rakia that we sell and some of our reds. And we've got wonderful guests that keep us in business. <laughs> so thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. <laughs> Say hi, you'll see yourself on YouTube. <laughs> Super. Wonderful experience. Thank wonderful you. Wonderful experience, yeah. That's the... You should have uh, Eric, pour them a Primitivo. We have, do we have Primitivo? Try this pr Primitivo. Okay. So, have a blast. Thank, thank you for coming here. Say hi to Brent. I will. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You really have a lots of friends. <laughs> <laughs> I never met them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. But they like it. They like it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's being a host. You know, the wine is good. It's great. But being a good host, that's everything. And people are happy here. I, I did you lots of interviews last night, and yeah. everybody's happy. Nobody complained about anything. No. Just enjoying. And Let's see how it's gonna be tonight. There you are. <laughs>